Welcome everyone to my Pictory AI tutorial. Today I'll be going through Pictory and showing you all the features that you can use and explain each process one by one. Now, if you don't know what Pictory is, I have made a full review on my channel, which if you were interested, you can go ahead and check that out. But first you want to start on the main page of Pictory. If you don't already have an account, you can click the first link in the description, which will also offer you a 14 day free trial, allowing you to use all the features for free for 14 days. And at the end of the video, I'll give you a special code which you can use on any plan Pictory have to offer. So once you have signed up or logged in, you should be taken to the dashboard where as you can see, there's four options we can choose between. There is script to video, blog to video, edit videos with AI and visuals to video. We'll go ahead and start with script to video. I like to stick with this topic, which is top three places to travel. Then I need to go ahead and paste in my script, which I've made with ChatGPT. And before I do click proceed, I highly recommend going through your script and simply just spacing it out. So that way Pictory can easily read it all and create more scenes. There we go. It looks a lot more better. Then once you are happy, you can click proceed. It will then start to render your video, creating a bunch of different scenes. And then you should be taken to the storyboard. And after about 30 seconds, we're taken to the storyboard where we can start to edit our video. So starting on the main page on the left, we have our scenes, which are made up of our script. So in total, we do have 15 scenes, which of course we can individually edit each and every single one of them. To edit a scene, you want to click a certain scene. And then once you've clicked it, you should be taken to it where you have subtitles that are already pre-made for you as well as a background. If we wanted to edit the text, we can simply click it. And then in the top here, it gives us a bunch of options to edit our text. So we can change the font, change the size, make it bold, italic, underline, or even have a line through it, change the capitalization, change the positioning of the text, change the color of the text, the background color, which is the little box behind the text, the width, position it. So if we wanted it into the middle, we can do so as well. We can even add a text animation. So if we hover over a certain animation, it will give us a preview as shown here. There's plenty you can choose from and you can also choose an exit animation as well. And then finally, we can change the highlight color. Now, once you are done editing your text, you can choose to save it as a style, which you can use later on in the video to add to other scenes, or you can simply click apply to all which means that everything that you have done within this scene will be applied to all of the other scenes, which is very, very helpful. Now, if you wanted to change the background of a certain scene, what we can do is click the scene that we want to change the background of, go to visuals, and we have a library which will show us a bunch of different images based off our search. So considering that this scene is an intro, I'd like a nice and happy background. So what I'll go ahead and search up is, for example, beach. And then it gives me a list of different backgrounds which I can choose to add. It's as simple as clicking the background. Once you've clicked it, it will change within your scene. That being said, you can choose to add a static background. You can even upload your own background and go through your recent and favorite it as well. Back to the main storyboard down below, there is a timeline between each of the scenes. You can choose to add a transition. So if I click the little square, I can then choose between a transition as shown. Once you have added a transition, you can choose to apply it to the entire video. So every scene will have the same transition or you can simply remove it or remove all of the transitions. Moving on to the audio for your video, you can click the audio tab and you're given over 15,000 different tracks to choose between. Again, very simple. If you wanted to add a certain track, you simply click it and it will apply to your video. You can choose to preview it and you can choose the mood, purpose, genre and duration of your track. The voiceover is the same. You can choose to add a voiceover from Premium Voices by Eleven Labs. Now do keep in mind that this is with a premium plan, which means that you will have to have a plan in order to get these premium voices. Similar to the background music, you can choose between the accent, age, purpose, and the gender of the AI voice. Once chosen, you can click generate and apply, and it will go ahead and read out all of the subtitles within your script to video. You can also choose to add your own background music as well as your own voiceover. Again, with a paid plan, it can auto sync within your script to video. So instead of having to manually synchronize your voice with your video, Pictory can do that for you. Then clicking on styles, you can choose between the different text styles for your scenes. If you have your own saved, you can click my styles and then you can apply this to whatever scene you'd like. Then moving on to the text area, you can choose to add a heading, subheading, or even a body of text. Now do keep in mind that if you do use one of the AI voices for Pictory, it will not read any of these extra text boxes. 
it will only read the subtitles that are provided within the scene. Then moving on to branding, you can choose to add your own brand to your video. Simply clicking on create a brand will take you to the brand hub, which you can click create a brand again. And then you can fill out some basic information such as your brand name, logo, the colors and the font, and then click create. Once created, you can apply this to your video. Second to last is the elements tab, which I don't find too useful in my opinion. However, if you do have a certain type of video, you can definitely use these if you'd like. There's also different stickers as well as GIFs, and you can even add emojis throughout your video. And then finally, moving on to the format tab, you can choose the format of your video. So currently it is set to landscape 16 by nine. You can change this to portrait, which is nine by 16 as well as one by one square. Landscape being used for YouTube, of course. Portrait is great for YouTube Shorts, TikTok, or Instagram Reels. And one by one square is great just for an Instagram post. At the top here, you can choose to select your video resolution. Again, because I do have a paid plan, I can choose the 1080p option. And that is how you use the script to editor feature. Everything is very self-explanatory and easy to use. Again, you don't need much video editing experience, if anything at all, considering that Pictory does most of the work for you. Once you are happy, you can click download. Then it will start to process your scenes and then generate a video for you to download. Moving on to blog to video. Clicking it brings up a prompt, allowing you to enter a article URL or a blog, of course. Once entered, you can click generate video. It will then start to summarize the article that you have given it into a nice engaging script. There you go on the right here, it has my script, which it has generated from the article that I provided. If you weren't happy with your script or you wanted to add certain parts of the article that Pictory didn't add, you can simply click a part of the blog it will then add a scene, which you can then change and reorder to your liking. If you wanted to delete a certain scene, simply go in the top right of that scene and click the little trash icon. If you're happy with your script, you can then click next, which will then create another storyboard for you to do the same process as the script to video. Again, after around 30 seconds, we're taken back to the storyboard where we can repeat the same process of editing. Next is the edit videos with AI. Once clicked, you can drag a video file to this area here. Once dragged, you can then click proceed. Then you are taken to the editing area. Now, personally, I like to go back to the storyboard and edit my video. I'm not the biggest fan of this editing space. I can go to the storyboard area by clicking customize video, where again, you are taken back to the storyboard, which I find to be a lot more easier to edit my videos. Just like the other examples, it is the same process again. And lucky last is the visuals to video feature. We can click this. And then you can drag and drop a bunch of different files, which will then be turned into a nice captivating slideshow. For this example, I do have a bunch of different photos of beaches. Of course, if you were to actually create a slideshow, I'd assume you'd have photos already prepared. But for this example, I do just have four random photos. You can arrange the files by simply holding on to the photo and then rearranging it to where you want it to be. Once you are happy, you can then click proceed, which again, it will then create you another storyboard, just like shown. With just like all the other features, you can then go ahead and edit to your liking. So a very straightforward and easy to understand tutorial for Pictory. Even without a tutorial, Pictory is very easy to use and very user-friendly for people that don't know much about video editing. Now, before we end the video, I'd like to show you the plans that Pictory do have to offer. If you were under a free trial, there should be an upgrade box in the top left. However, if there isn't, you can go to your profile and click my subscription. Then you're presented with four different plans. So there is the starter plan, professional, which is what I'm currently using, the teams plan and the enterprise plan as well. If you were interested in a plan, you can choose to click the buy now option. Once taken here, you can enter the code coupon 20, then click apply. And from $228 per year, it is now gone down to $182. So you do save $45.60, which is a huge discount. That being said, this code can be used for any plan. So definitely keep that in mind. So hopefully you guys did enjoy my Pictory AI tutorial. Again, if you were interested in Pictory, you can get a nice 14 day free trial, allowing you to gain access to all of the paid features for free with the link in the description down below. Thanks a lot for watching and I hope to see you guys next time.